for attending. It's nice to see there's actually a large number of people from the community here and that there's more people here from the community than there are candidates, so that's a refreshing change. Um, my name is Dave Payson. I'm running for the NPA. I'm a Vancouver resident and I live on the east side of the city. Uh, just to give you a bit of a background, I'm actually a psychologist and I own an uh, environmental services company. We manufacture uh, environmentally friendly, cancer-free uh, cleaners and degreasers for use in everything from cleaning and maintaining satellites to railroads. Part of the reason, part of my background is I've been involved with football over the years. I've coached football and, and been active in the Vancouver Trojans Football Club, as well as played softball and soccer and a variety of things throughout the city. Over the last three years, what I've seen is a deterioration of services in the city. I'm also on the board of the West End Community Center, and I chair the Arts Committee and sit on the Finance Committee. So I've been I've been privy to some of the things that have gone on to what's happened to community centers as well over the last three years. I guess what it amounts to is what kind of city do you want? Do you want a city where community centers are beholden to a board that demands funds that they have worked hard to accumulate, funds that go towards providing new chairs or curtains or maintenance of a community center, or do you want a park board that will demand you have an eighty thousand dollar surplus? We want it. That's not how it should work. It should work as a true partnership. I'm proud to say that I was on the negotiating committee for the last JOA that was signed in the city, which was with the West End Community Center, almost five years ago now. And it's a collaborative relationship, and it's worked very well. What I'm not proud to say is that we've tried and been rebuffed in trying to uh, renegotiate or open a new JOA, as I understand several other centers are throughout the city. That's not the way to run a community center or a park board. They should be partnerships. Now, we recognize that, you know, we do run a surplus, but it's due to our volunteers and the work of our volunteers. And we, we need to recognize that. It isn't a pot of gold that's to be raided at the end. Remember, it's your money that you've put in there. And it's your money that goes to servicing these centers and programs. What we see across the city is a disparity of programs. Where they're east to west. Every community center has its own needs and unique abilities. But I don't believe that the standards that, that are somewhat more wealthy should have to share everything. Do I believe they should share some? Absolutely, but not everything. Everybody has to be made accountable. That's really important. What I don't think you know is over the last three years, city revenues, taxes and fees have gone up over 16%, yet we've seen $5.2 million worth of cuts to the park board. It's not acceptable. We've seen user fees to toddlers. What kind of city do we live in where we charge toddlers to do exercise, to exercise with, their, with, their, with their parents? That's deplorable. I commend Commissioner Stewart for his initiative. That's one thing we need to look at. We want a green city, we want a healthy city, and we charge toddlers? That's not acceptable. We see in a facility where we, we see communities that aren't being listened to throughout the city. We see a skateboard park, and I, I have no problem with skateboard parks, but there is a time and a place for everything. We see it at Mount Pleasant, at Mount Pleasant Park, a, bo a, a facility that was much larger than was presented, and that has people in an uproar. It was 15th out of 15 in terms of community wishes. That's not acceptable, that's not listening to people. I know that there's been difficulties over funding over the last three years. We, now we see in a capital plan, we have some good things like a new roof at Bloedel, which is marvelous. We see half a community center. Now, I don't know about you, but half a community center is being like half pregnant. I have no idea what it is. That's not acceptable. Most of us won't live to see a new community center in our own neighborhoods if this kind of capital planning goes on. What we're looking at is a lack of independence in the park board. What we're seeing is people who do not stand up to their compatriots at City Hall. We're seeing an acquiescence to people who basically demand that they cut their budget. And they do, and I understand that. But if there's, if there's an increase of revenues from $800 million to over a billion dollars, why isn't any of it going to the park board? And it needs to be addressed in our facilities, whether it be a new pool at Mount Pleasant or whatever it may be. I'm asking you to consider very carefully who you vote for. Vote for the person that best represents you, not who you're told to vote for. Thank you.